What's up folks, Dr. Blankenstein here. Being that it's the three year anniversary of putting up my Atari Punk console video, uh, selling hundreds of them worldwide, eating Forrestman's Moog Fest, giving him one, giving my good friend Herb Deutsch from Moog one of them as well. And uh, I thought I'd do something a little special for the anniversary and uh, do one of those like cool fast motion videos that all the hip makers, you know, like Tim Sway and um, and uh, Darista are doing and stuff. Lighting's probably gonna be terrible. I thought it was time to show everyone a little bit more of my process. I don't think I really have shown very much of to anyone. So it'll move by really quickly. There's a lot of steps going on. It's a lot of stuff going on. Thank you for three great years. For all of you that purchased an Atari Punk console, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it. Made some crazy noise with it. Forest Mims, thank you for the schematic, of course. Thanks for uh, 20,000 views and 100 thumbs up. All right, enjoy the video, people. Just like that, crazy. Now we got some circuit boards. It's got six Atari Pong console boards right here. I think it's time to populate them with some components. Now we're gonna bust out and make some cases.
So our cases came out great, shiny, plasticky, just the way we love them. Now it's time to drill this sucker up. It being the holiday season, uh, just got seven orders come in and uh, only six Atari Bomb consoles. So I better start pumping some of these suckers out and doing some wiring. We etched our circuit boards, we drilled them out, we populated them, we made our cases, we drilled them up too. Now it's time to put this sucker together. And that, my friends, is how a Dr. Blinkenstein Atari punk console is born. Now to test it out, make sure it works. Mm -hmm.